You know how when you make a really good plan and you're all set to go on it, something always changes that makes you have to completely redo your plan? That's today. I was planning to do just a really chill building episode, but then uh, we started talking about updating to 1.20.2 finally. You know, before 1.20.3 comes out. Um, but one of the things with that is that they have changed the villager zombification process. So we voted as a server to hold off on updating until we've all kind of ground out some villager zombifications. So that's what we're going to do today. I don't need a ton of villagers, but the uh, glass incident from last episode did tell me that I need some of my own, at least some librarians. Now, I think I'm gonna build it in kind of this little bowl area of the ocean, and we're gonna have ourselves a cool little underwater villager hall. I'm probably gonna regret this. I think I'm going to go ahead and, where is it? There we go. Uh, plop a conduit in the water. There's a shipwreck here. I didn't even know that, I think. And then we go boop, boop, and boop. Hey, there we go. All right, this is approximately the shape of our build. It's gonna come all the way out here and it's gonna be a big old bubble. Now I guess there's nothing to do but to get building, so I'll see you on the other side. Well, they've been busy while I've been busy. Anyways, we now have a bubble, an underwater glass dome for our villager trading hall. And I've been trying to figure out just how to get, uh, Wah! Oh. <laughs> I've been trying to figure out just how to get uh, a good system in place. And I finally went over and peeked at what we're doing, uh, what the like public villager trading hall has as far as like its zombification process. And I think, I think I have a better idea of like what I need to do. I also went and browsed the tech archives discord for different trading hall designs and to be honest, I don't think I'm ready for those yet. And one more time for good luck. Zombie, zombie, zombie. And splash. And everything's configured correctly again. And down we go. And then we check, make sure everything's back where it's supposed to be. And there we have it. Okay, that took a few tries, but I think we have a functional system now. Do you hear what I hear? Because in a little cave right over here, where is he? This one right here. We've got a little zombie. And yeah, there he is. Oh, and he picked up an item already? How, how kind of him. I would like to get rid of the skeleton, though... That is what I did not want to happen. I don't want the skeleton to shoot the zombie, you know? Come on, bud. Come on, you can do it. Oh, no! Let's see. Can we catch him? There we go. Excellent. And this should take him right over to the zombie spot. Exactly where we want him to be. Nice. Okay, with some relatively minor rearranging in the back, let's see how this goes. Where'd he go? Did he end up over at the end? That's not allowed. Every time I think I've fixed a bug, another one shows up. Where the heck did that guy just end up? Oh, he did end up where he was supposed to. All right, now let's try you, sir. Excellent, excellent. And what have you got to offer us? Smite one. I appreciate your enthusiasm, sir, but how about no? I think I think three zombifications is probably the area we should shoot for. Anyways, I'm gonna sit here and keep doing this then. Several hours of grinding later, we have all these fine gentlemen here. In this row of librarians, we have every single book that I had as a requirement, plus a few that are extra little bonuses. Let's see, how many guys is this? 13. 
What a lucky number. The very last gentleman in our lineup was this guy with Fortune 3, and let me tell you, it took forever for that to come up. I went ahead and got us all of the smiths as well. We have one farmer, which is plenty for our golden carrot needs, and a couple of clerics. All of these gentlemen have at least two top level trades, mostly things that I very specifically wanted, but some things like Smite 5. Um, we have both curses in here. I have several more things I want to do with this space. I want to put a mural on this wall. It's the perfect place for it. I, I'm a little bit regretting doing a circular shake, shape and a big bubble like this, but also there's, there's, there's cool things to be done here. Are you ready to see it? To access this, usually, we'll just come down here in the water and swim through our front door. And this is what we've got. So of course you can see our mural on the back wall there with the sea turtle and the water. And I, I love the little rain chainy sign thing going on over here. And we will eventually have our stonemasons in here, but I still gotta work out the redstone for that, so maybe not today. I do have a castle that I've put off building for quite a while. And then these bookcase areas hold all of our enchanted books. Um, this side has all of our different tool enchants um, kind of sorted out, so we have like um, tool tools. Over here we have sword stuff. And then on this side, we've got our bow enchants and then our, our fishing rod stuff. And we have a few more over here, some miscellaneous trident enchants, uh, piercing, you know, things that we weren't necessarily gunning for and our curses. We have our curses here too. And of course they all have um, chiseled bookshelves underneath with the corresponding enchanted books and then extra storage up top. It's fun to be down in here and to look up and see turtles and dolphins swimming overhead, thus the uh, turtle mural. Now let's pop over towards our base here. Ah, uh, just look at it emerge. And it's gonna be, oh goodness, already. It's gonna be even better when we're through with, with it. Ah, that's better. No more phantoms. Well, I think you can safely say I've been doing a bit of digging lately. Remember what this looked like before? <laughs> well, no longer. Um, this is approximately half of the space of our, like, upper level. And I'm still, like, I have the interior designed. Don't have the exterior fully designed except for this front area. Well... I say designed, I know what I'm doing there. Um, but I'm not entirely sure how to tie everything into the mountains. But it's sure gonna be fun to find out, isn't it? Of course, I've gotta carve out that side as well. But today, we'll just be working on the front of the gate. But before we do that, I need to check on something. If we do just a quick little look-see at our dine map, we can see that there is Lush Cave, not too far south of our base, but I want to basically find the closest area of Lush Cave to our area. There is an azalea tree, okay. Oh, and a bit of a ravine. Woo, woo! Oh, we are. Woo, okay. I don't know if that was lag or me. Just like coasted right off of that tree. There we go. Okay, yeah, so there's even a bit of lush cave like right there. And it looks like it doesn't really push farther north. All right, let's take a little, okay. Okay, there's more over here. Cool. That would honestly be kind of the perfect spot for my needs. What? No, 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 ow. Ow, my flying is hurting me more than the skeleton ever would. All right, well, that is some excellent news. It is pretty close to my base, which means that there's probably not gonna be anybody who just like comes and builds. So I need a lush cave for a tropical fish farm eventually, because this going out after a few shulkers of tropical fish, catching them by hand, 
every time I need to restock my axolotls. That's just a bit much. Anyways, with that information confirmed, I think it's about time for us to get the next step of this facade up. Oh, just look at that. My gosh, I love it. Oh my goodness. My visions, my dreams, they're coming true. I definitely ran out of ice on this project. Um, like I have 24 in my inventory and I think that's about all I have left. Okay, a stack and three quarters. That is all the plain ice I have left. I really need to finish that ice farm. I have been procrastinating it so badly. It's my first time building a farm from just a light Matica and eh, not my favorite thing. But oh my gosh. I'm, like things are happening. Things are happening and they're turning out the way I want them to be. And I love it. I want to just stand here and stare at it for forever. But actually, what I want to do is I want to connect these guys. And let's actually sleep so we don't get things spawning on us. Fun little ADHD detour. One of the little things about this area, well, about working on this base, that has brought me way more joy than it should is that because I'm wearing my leather boots with Frostwalker on them out in the powdered snow, and because there's water down in here, I need to take my boots off. In order to come inside out of the snow, I have to take my snowy boots off. Just like at home. Taking your snowy boots off when you go inside is a very Alaskan thing. Like other than like the store, most places you go, you're going to be taking your snowy boots off. Like I have been at church and taken my boots off and just run around in my socked feet. Adults do that, you know? We have our nativity plays with socks on, unless, you know, your mom reminds you five times to get your Christmas shoes to wear inside for Christmas. Anyways, I want to figure out how best to connect the stairways. Oh, there we go. Um, I want to figure out how to connect the stairways to the arch. I didn't give myself the best setup, I think. So that's on me. So, in this spot, we want to give ourselves, like, a wall transition. I also need doorways to access the inside of these. Hmm. Here, I think, is where we'll start building a roof. And I think I want it to start out with, like, deep slate. And then as we get higher up, it's gonna darken into black stone. Actually, some deep slate tiles might be a good transition block. Let's go back and find some of those. Oh, hello, pillagers. Ha huh, ha. Huh. Come down here. Yeah, just like that. Good golly, can't a girl find a cow to get rid of her bad omen? Come on, guys. Oh my goodness. No, no, you've already caused me problems, you turds. There's a bee. Is that a cow? No, it's a donkey. Can you milk goats? Because I know where goats are. Cow, cow. 
Oh, jeez, that's a creeper in my beautiful stairwell. How dare you? All right, let's look at how this feels. It definitely feels low lighty. Um, I feel like though the wall doesn't like blend into the ceiling very well. Like it's a very defined line. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. If I should have some form of transition, you know? But it does kind of have that vibe of you walk inside and things start getting dark and ominous. And we'll definitely like keep this entrance area fairly low light. Obviously, we've got the lights off to the sides as they go down the stairwell. Um, and then straight ahead is going to be our main hall. And, well, not going to spoil anything for you yet. I actually think I want something a little bit redstone-y here. Maybe a good old, like, calibrated skulk sensor kind of door? Hmm, there's not a lot of space to work with. I mean, you could do a double piston extender. Voila! Door! Now we've got a quick little errand to run. I'm going to need a lot of black concrete. And I've been asking around to see if anybody has a blast chamber I can use. And Eraser offered a look at theirs to see if it might be useful. So it's a bit chaotic here at the moment. I'm still figuring stuff out. Um... But at the moment, it's just a case of like placing blocks and then um, once it reaches a certain amount, the, like the blast chamber is there at the bottom, but it will blast whatever. So it's taking a bit of time, but there's already like TNT loaded in the system. So as soon as your the items that you want to like blast gets down there, it blasts it and it sends it up. I was thinking that if you want to do like making concrete and stuff, what we could do is maybe have like a stair on each side of the road that's like waterlogged. Yeah, that would be kind of perfect. Well, I've got quite a bit of magma cream, if you want okay. some of that. And I have enough skewt on me for eight turtle shells. Got phantom membranes and eight rabbit's feet. Yeah. Would that be a good rent? Um, <laughs> I think that'd be a good rent. That's, for me, that's a bit like, almost like, Plain, like a bit too much, right? Well, yeah, whatever you happen to want. Like, I, I don't have a ton of magma cream on me. I think I have like a stack and a half. But, uh, no, but I have potion ingredient farms for all of them. Yeah, I'm not really expecting much for like the use of the, um, like for rental stuff. So it's it, whatever I get that I just see as a bonus. <laughs> That's fair. I feel that. All right, and the portals up here. I love seeing like the different things that people do with their bases and not just their bases, but also like their industrial areas and all that good stuff. Like I'm so new to Minecraft and I'm just building farms for the first time. Um, whenever I build a new one is probably my first time I've done that. And so it's cool to see how like people who've been playing longer will condense things and make things more efficient. And I love it. it. Gives me so many ideas. Anyways, it is good to know that that blast chamber is there for when I need it next. And that's my wings. Yay! I am going to need a lot of black concrete in the near-ish future. But that's spoilers and we'll get to it later. Let's just get a little feel for what walking up into this feels like and looks like. It's so big. It's so big. I love it. And then you come up and over here, it gets dark as you go inside. I love that. There's a lot of big, grindy work to be done in this area. So um, the next time you see this, hopefully all this will be gone. But down in here, in our living area, there are a couple things that I want to do and or point out. So, I was thinking about this area at one point recently, and I realized that what we didn't add to this and what we should add to this is some, like, ruins and remnants of the building that was originally here. Because kind of the lore that we have around this area is that, like, 
the castle upstairs is abandoned and like magically maintained, but the areas underneath have fallen into ruin and disrepair and somebody has like moved in and taken over the ruins and made the space useful again. Um, the ruins and the caves all the way down even to the ancient city underneath here. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves though. So as we like slowly expand into the caves, um, we should also have like ruins and remnants of what was here when this castle was inhabited. I wanted to point out this little spot because in the video where I worked on this area, this, this was my absolute favorite thing and I really didn't get, like I didn't show it off and I'm really sad that I didn't. So we're gonna do it now. Um, we're just, armor standed a little fletching area and I just like I love the bow leaning against the fletching table I love the hook full of arrows the hook with the the bow held there it just it makes me happy it took it took a lot of work um but I really really love this speaking of armor stands I saw something that Pearl did a little bit ago in a creative thing, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to steal this. So, let's see, there's our statues book. Let's try this out. And there we are. Oh, I love it. It's such a good little detail. So now, our armor stand has a little nether star up top. And I went ahead and unlocked it as well so that we can take items off the armor stand if we happen to want to wear this set of armor, which like, why wouldn't we? It's so pretty. We have done so much today, so it is definitely not the day to start adding ruins in here, but I really, really love that like idea and I'm excited to see it shape up. We've done so much today from finally putting together a villager system and dealing with all the redstone that entailed to Adding new pieces to our mega base, big and small. There's just been a lot of changes made to my area and what I have available to me. And I'm so excited to see things um, continue to shape up. What was your favorite thing we added today? If you enjoyed the episode, please do give it a like and consider subscribing. I will see you all for the next one. Bye!